Hi guys! Long time no see. I hope you all in, had a wonderful uh, three-day weekend. I hope you guys had a good Memorial Day weekend and were able to get outside and enjoy some of the weather um, because it was pretty nice this weekend. However, this week it's looking pretty um, pretty summerish if I'm uh, if I can describe it that way. It's going to be pretty hot out for the next few days. So if you are going outside, maybe try getting out earlier in the day or later. Um, because I know in the afternoon it's going to be almost 90 degrees, so uh, stay cool. Um, but we are going to read our um, News to You article for the week. Uh, this week, our article is about a special event that happens for our seniors, but um, most of you guys uh, have heard of this event, graduation. Um, you guys will all at some point graduate from school, and... Um, we usually are able to do some sort of a ceremony. Um, normally we have a ceremony where we can all get together. This year we're going to do like a virtual digital video graduation ceremony, which will be which will be different, but it should still be really cool. Um, but we are going to look at our vocab words first because we might hear some of these words in the article and we just want to make sure you know what they mean. So the first word we are going to look at is the word seniors. Okay, um, a senior is a way to describe a person. Um, when we're talking about seniors in school, we are talking about students in their last year of high school or maybe college. Um, this year we had one senior in our class. Last year we had eight, which is insane because that was two thirds of our class were seniors. But um, this year we'll only have one. Uh, next year we will have two seniors. But um, you guys, at some point, you will all be seniors. You will all be finishing up your last year of school. It's an exciting year. It's when you start looking at programs um, that you would like to maybe attend um, after school. Um, you get to do special events. You get, like, special privileges. It's a super fun and exciting time of year for, for uh, seniors. Um, our next word that we're going to look at is the word graduate or graduate. Um, gra uh, to graduate means to successful, uh, successfully complete school and receive a diploma or a certificate. Um, we receive a skills of achievement certificate in our school, but when you graduate, you do get a diploma from your school district. You will get a diploma from our school. And um, it means that you're done with school. You've done all your work. You've achieved all your goals. You are finally able to move on to the next step in your adult life. And it's an exciting time of year, and it's a little scary, but um, it's a time where we like to celebrate with you guys, which is our next vocabulary word. So let's look at that. Celebrate. Um, we celebrate events all the time at school and in our classroom. Um, celebrate means to do something special or, um, sorry, to do something special to honor a person or an event. So at school, we like to celebrate birthdays. So we're celebrating a person. Um, this uh, article, we're going to be talking about celebrating graduates and seniors. And we hold a graduation ceremony. But pretty much... Um, when you celebrate something, it's a fun, special time of year with a party, um, and it's a time that we can all have fun together. And I know we like to celebrate lots of stuff at school. Um, what are some things that maybe you guys celebrate at home? But when we are in uh, reading our article, we are going to hear the word celebrate. And the last word, school. You guys all know what the word school means. Um, it's a place where students learn. Uh, sometimes we are all together at our physical school building, but right now our school is online. Um, we use our Google Classroom, which is our school right now, um, and it's a place where you go to learn. Um, you're not sitting in front of me like we normally are, but you are watching videos of me. You can still respond to questions. You can still do your work and your worksheets. You can still answer um, survey questions that I post. Um, it's just a different type of school, but school is really any place where you learn. Um, sometimes our school is when we're out in the community on field trips. Sometimes our school is outside when we're doing an outdoors activity. But um, 
school really is where you are learning. Sometimes school is home. Right now, that's kind of what it is. It's online and it's home. Your parents might be doing work with you too. So again, our four vocab words for this week's article is seniors, graduate, school, and celebrate. Um, in the next part of this video, I will read the article with you guys, and then we will um, check out the worksheets that go along with it. Okay, so we are going to now read our article, and again, this week's topic is about the 2020 graduation ceremonies that are going to be taking place. Because this year, due to the coronavirus, things have changed a little bit, and we might be seeing some different ceremonies from um, high schools, colleges, middle schools, elementary schools, preschools, any school that really um, has uh, graduation ceremonies going on this year. So let's get started. The school year is ending. Seniors are graduating from schools. They may graduate from high schools or colleges. Graduation ceremonies are usually in May or June. Um, most of the time, colleges have their graduation ceremonies um, in May, and high schools typically have their graduation ceremonies in June. But again, it depends on when schools end their school year. Some schools end, um, some high schools will end in May or beginning of June, and some end in the end of June. We always go till the end of June, so our graduation ceremony is typically at the end of June. Graduation ceremonies will be different in 2020. People cannot gather because of the coronavirus. They don't want people being in large groups of people. And graduation ceremonies typically have a lot of people because we want to celebrate our graduates. We're excited for them. We're proud of them. And we want to have a fun time and see them graduate. So people cannot gather because of the coronavirus. They cannot gather for graduation ceremonies either. But seniors have worked very hard. Schools still want to celebrate the seniors. I know our school still wants to. I know local high schools still want to celebrate the seniors that are graduating in 2020. Some schools are having ceremonies online, which means it's going to be on the computer where you can watch it. Seniors can wear their caps and gowns and they can join special video calls. School leaders will say the names of the seniors, and some seniors give speeches. I know our school we are working on, um, I believe we're going to do a virtual graduation where we're going to put a video together that we're going to play for graduation night. Um, I'm not sure of all of the logistics yet, but I know that is what we are working on. Some schools will have ceremonies in the future. The schools hope to have ceremonies during the summer. They hope people can gather then. But we still do not know, guys, if we're going to be able to do get-togethers in the summer. We still have to wait and find out what the rules are going to be. Schools, will, schools hope that seniors can be together for ceremonies. They want the seniors to celebrate together. And again, the rules are different in every state. The rules are different in ca different counties within the state. And some schools are going to have different protocols. So one school might decide to do this type of graduation and a school in a half an hour away might choose to do something different. We have to make sure we keep everyone safe and that everyone's comfortable. So you might see different types of graduation ceremonies going on. And that's okay. Now, most ceremonies, they have special speakers. The speakers give speeches to the seniors. And at our graduation ceremonies, we always have a guest speaker that comes in and gives a little speech. A speaker may be a, sitter, a city leader, an author, an athlete, and more. Okay? 
there's tons of people that um, are willing to go and speak at graduation ceremonies across the country. Many speakers will give speeches about the future. So they'll give um, kind of some words of wisdom for this for the seniors um, and what they should look forward to in their futures and how they can make a difference and um, what they, sh they should be shooting for the stars. You know, they're very inspirational speeches. Now, famous people recorded speeches for seniors this year because it's been a very bittersweet year for a lot of our seniors. Um, it's a special time of year for them. And unfortunately, a lot of the fun activities that seniors usually get to do were canceled or changed because of the coronavirus. So this year, um, a lot of celebrities are really trying to make this year very special for the class of 2020. Uh, some of the famous people that have made speeches this year include singer John Legend, soccer player Abby Wambach, Wambach, I think that's how you pronounce her name, and journalist Katie Couric. The speeches are on a podcast, okay? Um, seniors can listen to the speeches on the podcast. And a podcast is pretty much just like a radio station um, where people talk. You can listen to it on your phone. Um, I listen to some podcasts. Uh, I'm trying to just see. Like on your phone, you, I don't know if you can see the app. There's a podcast app. Um, and they have so many different types of podcasts that you can listen to about different topics. But the podcast, if you're interested in listening to some of the speeches that um, these celebrities made for seniors, the podcast is called Commencement Speeches for the Class of 2020. Graduating is exciting. Again, guys, it's something that you will all be able to experience at some point. It's a really fun time of year. There's lots of fun activities. You guys are like the kings of the, and queens of the school. You guys get to do a lot of um, special activities. It's a fun time for you and your families and your teachers. Um, many cities are helping seniors celebrate. Some cities are having car parades. Seniors may drive cars through their cities, or sometimes the teachers will do that. People can stand in their yards and cheer. And I know since um, we've uh, been kind of in quarantine since the coronavirus has hit, we have probably, you guys have probably seen, whether in your own neighborhoods or on the news, tons of parades where cars are driving by um, celebrating our hospital workers or helping celebrate special events like birthdays. They are doing the same thing for graduation and for our seniors. Many seniors are graduating in 2020. They graduate in May or June, okay? Seniors, they have different plans after graduating, all right? Uh, some may go to a new school. Some may start a new job or go to another, a new program, okay? Um, you may not be with your friends from school. You get to pick your own path. That's part of being an adult is you get to make choices and decide what it is you want to do with your future. Um, so it's, again, it's an exciting type of time of year. It's a little scary because you're going to be doing something new, but it's a time to celebrate. And it's a time for us to say congratulations to our seniors. Um, and again, we want to give a big congratulations to our senior that's in our classroom. I can't say his name because this is on the internet. But um, again, we want to do a big congratulations to our senior. All right. So uh, we're going to read our shorter articles that go along with um, our longer one. This one is a short article. It's a, the people in the news section of our newspaper. The, the person or group of people we're going to be talking about, again, is seniors. Seniors are graduating from schools. Seniors are students. Seniors may be in high school or college. Most seniors are in a school for four years, sometimes longer, like in our school, 
you're in our school. You could be you could be in our school since you were in preschool or kindergarten. Um, but if you're in high school, you're typically in the high school for four years or uh, college, you might be there for four years. Um, there's really no, there's no rule that says it's only four years. But um, a lot of times seniors are in their school for at least four years. Seniors leave a school after they graduate. So again, when you guys are seniors and you graduate, you are going to be leaving our school and going on to something different. It doesn't mean you can't come back and visit. It doesn't mean that you can't stay in touch with us. It just means you will not, you are no longer student age. You are now an adult and you are going to go on to an adult program or an adult um, plan, whatever program you want to go to, whatever plan you might work on with us and your parents. But again, when seniors, when they graduate, they do have to leave school. You're too old. <laughs> um, places in the news. Schools. We talk about school all the time, especially now. Schools are celebrating seniors who are graduating. And coronavirus or no coronavirus, we always celebrate our seniors. Cities around the world have schools. Okay, there are schools everywhere. In the United States, Canada, Australia, Japan, uh, Ethiopia, China, you know, Russia, everywhere. There's schools everywhere. Teachers teach students in schools. You guys in our classroom, you have your main teacher, that's me, and that's what I went to school for, to be a teacher, and then you have six teaching assistants, and their job is to help me teach you guys, and then they we will work with you and do lessons with you and activities with you. So you guys get a lot of extra teachers, which is pretty cool. Students in a school may be kids, teenagers, or adults. Most of you guys fall into the teenagers or adults category because you guys are in the upper, upper level grade um, and classrooms in our school. All right. So we are going to reread the article again, and then we are going to check out some of our worksheets. So guys, I tried to dig up some pictures of when I graduated college or high school, and I could not find them. I do know I have them somewhere, and if I can find them, I will begrudgingly share them with you guys. But I was able to find one of my diplomas from college. Um... This is when I graduated with my bachelor's of science, and it's pretty much just your degree, has your name on it, where you went to school, the president or the principal, the president of the college or the principal of the school will sign it, so Miss Sue will sign it, um, but it's just like, it's, ju it's just a symbol of all the hard work you've done and that you've graduated, and it's something that people will hold on to for most of their lives. Some people will frame it, some people leave it in their um, diploma holder, which I have done, but it is something that you will get when you graduate. So let's read our article one more time. 2020 graduation ceremonies. The school year is ending. Seniors are graduating from schools. And our last day of school is Wednesday, June 24th, I believe. Let me double check, but I'm pretty sure, yep, Wednesday, June 24th. And then you guys will have a little vacation before summer school. Now, seniors are graduating from schools. They may graduate from a high school or a college. Graduation ceremonies are usually in May or June. Now, graduation ceremonies will be different in 2020. People cannot gather because of the coronavirus. They cannot gather for graduation ceremonies. But seniors have worked very hard. Schools still want to celebrate the seniors. Some schools are having ceremonies online. Seniors can wear their cap and gown. They can join special video calls. School leaders may say the names of the seniors, and some of the seniors will give speeches. Some schools will have ceremonies in the future. 
the schools hope to have ceremonies during the summer. They hope people can gather then, but again, we still don't know. Schools hope the seniors can be together for ceremonies. They want the seniors to celebrate together. Now, most ceremonies have special speakers. The speakers give speeches to the seniors. A speaker may be a city leader, an author, an athlete, and more. Many speakers give speeches about the future. Famous people recorded speeches for the seniors this year. The famous people include singer John Legend, soccer player Abby Wambach, and journalist Katie Couric. And forgive me if I've mispronounced any of those names. The speeches are on a podcast, which is something you can listen to on the computer or on a phone or a tablet. Seniors can listen to these speeches on this podcast. Graduating is exciting. Many cities are helping seniors celebrate. Some cities are having car parades. Seniors drive cars through their cities. People can stand in their yards and cheer. Many seniors are graduating in 2020. Seniors have different plans after graduating. They may go to new schools. They may start new jobs. Well, we don't know. That's their choice, and it will be your choice, too, as you get older. Congratulations, seniors. Now that we've done our articles, we are going to look at some of the worksheets or possible activities that I'm also going to post. Um, one of them that we typically try to do every week is make the recipe um, this year. Um, not this year. This article, the recipe is for a drink, and it's called a senior slushy. And it looks pretty easy to make, and it sounds pretty tasty. You would need three cups of strawberries, some honey, some vanilla, and some ice cubes. And all you have to do is put those ingredients in the blender and drink it. Um, I might actually try making this myself. Um, <laughs> uh, if I do it this week, um, since I have all of these ingredients at home, I will try to just do a quick record video, record a video of it um, at home and post it for you guys. But if you do decide to make the senior slushy, please let me know how it comes out and if you thought it was good or not. Um, we are going to look at our review page. Again, I'm going to post your individual worksheets in the Google Classroom, so please, please, please try doing them there because I will have a box for you to type your answers in. But I am just going to read the questions with you guys. Um, the first question, let's see if I can zoom in. The first question says, what is this paper about? So what have we been talking about? Did we talk about A, Amy Bakersetti's foundation, B, growing food at home, or C, the 2020 graduation ceremonies? And when you're doing your worksheet, you can either type in the letter that goes with the response, or you can type in the actual full response. Uh, question two, who do schools want to celebrate? So are these ceremonies for A, seniors, B, architects, or C, spies? Question three, where are seniors graduating from? Are they graduating from A, schools, B, restaurants, or C, factories? Question four. Where are some schools having graduation ceremonies? We know that the coronavirus has changed the way we can do ceremonies this year. So what did we read about? Where might some of these ceremonies be taking place? Are they going to take place A, underwater, B, in space, or C, online on the computer?
Question five. We read about a special event. What are usually, or what special event is usually held in May or June? So what are we, what are we reading about that takes place in May or June? Is it A, winter dances, B, graduation ceremonies, or C, football games? And the last question is number six, and it says, what do people give at graduation ceremonies? So sometimes they will have special people come in for these ceremonies. What do they do? Do they do A, a presentation? B, speeches, or C, tests. Again, feel free to do these questions on your own on the Google Classroom. Um, I also am posting our Think page um, because uh, it's important for you guys to express your own thoughts, your opinions. Um, it's a good way to work on our social skills as well holding conversations, because these are not just simple uh, ABC questions. These are questions that require you guys to use some vocabulary words. Uh, the first question, when will you graduate? All right, um, you guys will graduate when you turn 21. So if you would like to sit at home with your parents and count out how many years that will be, you can type in the year you are going to graduate. I graduated high school in 2002, okay, and I graduated college in 2006, and then I got my master's in 2008, I think it was 2008, 2007 maybe, no, I think it was the winter of 2007, sorry guys, I'm getting old. But, um, so you guys might have multiple graduation dates or years. Um, question two, um, who is your favorite school leader? Okay. Um, a leader is a person who could be in charge of the entire school, in charge of things that go on in the classroom. It could be someone from when you were little or currently, um, so think of someone, maybe not even who's your favorite school leader, but who's one of your favorite people that you enjoy working with in school. Uh, it could be, again, a, a principal, it could be a therapist, it could be a classroom teacher, but who is someone that you enjoy working with? Who's like one of your favorite school, school people? Okay, we can change that question up a little. And Question three, we talked about how graduation is about a t is a time where we will celebrate, but this question wants to know, what will you celebrate this year? Okay, what are you going to celebrate in 2020? I know I'm going to make sure we celebrate when we get back into school together and we can have a big party. I know I will do definitely want to celebrate going back to school. What is something you guys are interested in celebrating? It could be a holiday. It could be a special day. Um, in your family, that your family celebrates, it could be your birthday, what's something you want to celebrate this year? All right. Um, I hope you enjoyed the article. And I will have your questions up there for you. Again, if I end up making the senior slushy, I will make a quick video of that. Um, if I find any of my pictures from when I graduated, I will also post those. Um, but that is the end of our video. Feel free to look up graduation ceremonies on YouTube. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.